Nichols, Claire Martial Royal of CMR Personal Training and I'm here today to explain to you five core exercises that you can safely do during your pregnancy without the risk of making your dysterectus worse if you have it or without getting dysterectus if you're lucky enough not to have it. I am currently 32 weeks pregnant with my second baby and I had dysterectus in my first pregnancy. So I've been doing all of these exercises myself so I know they are safe and effective. The first exercise is a Superman extension. You go into all four position, arms under your shoulders, knees comfortable hip distance apart. And you're going to extend your left arm and your right leg at the same time and hold for a count of two. You want to maintain a neutral spine position and make sure that you don't extend too far that you're causing your stomach to cone. So it's then right hand, left leg, hold for a count of two, then come back down and then do the other side. You're just coming up to shoulder height, hip height. I would recommend that you do 10 to 12 reps and two to three sets. Next exercise that is core safe for during pregnancy is marching on an exercise ball. So, put your exercise ball and you want to sit onto it. And the idea here is that you maintain a nice horizontal pelvis. You want to try not to rock too much and you want to think about activating your core and think about your posture. You want to make sure that you're sitting back onto your tailbone. Place your arms in front of your body and march. This looks a lot easier than it is. especially when you're in your third trimester. If you find that that is too easy, to take it up a level, you bring your leg out and in. Out and in. Remember at all times to keep that pelvis nice and straight, nice and upright, and exhale as you lift your leg. If you don't have an exercise ball, you can also sit onto a chair, although of course that doesn't provide you with quite the same core stability exercise because a chair is more stable. But it's still something that you can do if you don't have an exercise ball. The next exercise is pelvic tilts. Now you can either do these standing or on an exercise ball. So if I come around to the side to start with, what you want to do is sit up onto your exercise ball and tilt the pelvis forward and back. Forward and back. Now, this is a very small movement and it may feel like you're not really doing very much, but you are. You're working those deep TVA muscles. And If you don't have an exercise ball or you don't want to do them on an exercise ball, you can either do them freestanding, so you simply stand and tilt and release, tilt and release, tilt and release. Another really good way of doing them is to stand against a wall and you have about a foot distance in front of you, turn that out the way. Um, sorry, about foot distance behind you between the wall and the back of your heel. And as you breathe in, you bring this lower back slightly into the wall, and then you breathe out. Make sure you've got your shoulders down, chest up, 
and it's a nice relaxed pose. It's just your pelvis that's doing the work. And exercise number four is a payload press. There's a number of variations you can do on this. I'm going to show you the variation with a resistance band. If you don't have one, invest in one while pregnant. They're brilliant and they're really, really cheap um, that you can buy online. Buy a door handle, tie the band round the door handle so that it's secure. And you're going to stand to the side of the door handle. And you want to think about your posture. Nice neutral spine. And what you're going to do, and hopefully the door handle will be about waist height, is you push out and in. Out and in. Now the band will pull you round to the side. And what you want to try to do is prevent that. Keep your hips aligned, hips facing forward, and push out and in. The rest of your body is not really moving. It's all coming from the core. Again, this looks like some exercise that is super simple. And when you do it, you will really feel your core activate. Make sure you do the other side as well. So 10 to 12 reps on both sides. The greater the resistance on the band, the more difficult the exercise. So the further you stand away from your door, the harder the exercise. Good. And the last exercise is a balance exercise. Any balance exercises that you do, during pregnancy will activate the core. So do think about your core when you're doing your lunges or your squats because they will all work your core. I recommend my fifth exercise for your core, tree pose. If you've not done this before, just bring your leg up to your calf and you hold that position for 30 seconds on one side and then 30 seconds on the other side. If you're a little bit more advanced, you can try bringing your leg up a little bit higher, which makes it a little bit more difficult. Make sure you think about your posture, your pelvic position, nice neutral spine throughout. If you're struggling, grab a chair and hold on to it to get yourself into the balanced position. Hook my leg up. Get comfortable, feel secure, and then go into the pose and try and hold that for 30 seconds. Make sure you breathe throughout the 30 seconds. If you need to tap down at any time, that's fine, and then go back into the position and start counting your 30, position, 30 seconds again. Well done.